to win. Welcome Cherokee Rose YouTubers. We are doing this budding today. So there's a lot of things out there on YouTube that are not necessarily the way we do things. Um, we disbud for several reasons, but the main reason is the goat's health. Um, if you've ever had a baby goat with horns get caught up in the fence and wind up dying as a result of that, it's important that you know you get those horns off. Not only that, but um, the goats live in close proximity to each other and uh, they can injure each other or themselves. So we find it very important to disbud. Uh, we try to disbud when they're young, especially the bucks, because uh, they have such a, a dominant horn that it, uh, if you don't get it early, then it, it will cause you problems as, as you try to disbud. This little guy here is eight days old. He's already gotten pretty good size. Uh, if you look, you can you can see just really close. He's got some little nubs that's coming up. They've not broken the skin yet. But what we do um, is we trim around the horns. Just get uh, your clippers and clip around the horns. And, and you want to get as close as you possibly can. Um, and the main reason for that is smoke as you do it. As you, as you put the burner to the head, uh, smoke will get all in your face and it, and it sort of hurts you being able to see what you're doing. Uh, not only that, but it lets get the, the tool, I guess, closer to uh, his head. But this little fella here, uh, he'll be up next. We do, uh, I guess everybody has their way, own way of doing it. Um, we have been doing this particular way for a while. We do bucks a little differently than we do does. And the main reason is, you know, that dominant horn bud that's on top here. If you don't do a good job on the bucks, then later on they'll have scurs and it'll just be a constant problem for the lifetime of the goat. So you wanna make sure that you do, uh, and I, we'll get into that as we do his later on, but you'll see that the bucks are done just a little bit differently than the does. Um, I wanna talk about some of the things that you need um, to do or the half when you when you're doing this setting up um, the baby scream this is not a necessity but uh, we wear earmuffs and uh, you know they they get loud and uh, it just lets you concentrate more on what you're doing and don't have to worry about your ears that's that's one of the things gloves uh, and it's mainly the person that is that is actually doing the this button I do them by myself most of the time um, but you will try not to burn the baby goat uh, on areas that's, that's not that you're not that you're not trying to set up with this bud so uh, you have to have the gloves because this little tool gets so hot so a good thick pair of gloves is a necessity um, the next thing is the burner uh, this is a Reinhardt X50 it's one of the heavier ones um, which I like it sort of retains the heat um, you have to um, plug it up we give it about 25 or 30 minutes before we use it. It holds the heat pretty well. And if you see right on the very end, there's a like a round uh, hole that fits over, over the horn nub. And we go in with a Dremel. It's brass, so it's, it's a real um, soft steel. But we go in with a Dremel and we sort of, uh, on the inside of the, of the little ferrule, we cut it out and make it where it's a little sharper. And what that does is when we pop the little horn bud off, it sort of cuts it and, and uh, it just makes it a lot easier. And, and you'll see that when we get later on in the video. But this is a Reinhardt X50, like I said, and uh, we've been using it for quite some time and, and we have really good results with it. Um, this is a little test pad that we use. You can see this is I don't know how many times that we've redone this, but you can see how many times this guy has been used. Um, you want to, like I said, plug it up, and then you want to test it before you ever use it. And you want to get a really quick ring, just like that one did there. Um, and we test it between every, every kid that we do, because you want to make sure the thing is really good and hot and um, before you actually try to use it. So that's the two things there. 
Um, the box, we use a little box. Uh, and this box, I made this. It probably took me an hour to make it. There's nothing to it. Um, it's made out of three quarter inch plywood. It was just scrap. Uh, it's got a hinge on the back. It was just a, it's all made out of scrap for, for the most part. But it's just a little box with a divider in the center. Front legs go in the front, back legs go in the back. So you put them in there and you close it up and it just holds them in place so that, you know, obviously they're not gonna stand still and let you do this. So you have to sort of hold them in place. So this aids in that. And if you also notice, this is just a little, a little aluminum piece that goes on the front. Uh, and that just keeps their head straight and it keeps their ears, you know, with Nubians, you got these ears to deal with, so uh, you have to keep them out of the way. Uh, this sort of helps with that. I think we bought this uh, from Jeffrey Supply or Caprine Supply. Maybe it was Caprine, uh, but you can buy these online. Several different uh, people make these. So uh, what we're gonna do is put him in and you know, just go real easy and uh, Back legs go in the back, front legs go in the front. You just sort of set him in like that. And push his head toward the front. Just like this. Come oh, on, man. There we go. All right, so once you get him in, just put the latch on it. And again, guys, you know, they're, this is not going to be comfortable to them, so they're going to scream. But that's just part of it. And, you know, if you want to be... For the goats, better all overall health down the road, you needed this bud. So we just test our heat once again. And it's just instantly, it creates that copper ring on the board. So uh, I said on top of the box, it's just designed to, to sort of hold us up. And you want to watch the ears. The ears is, um, you know, they're going to want to flop their head. So you need to grab their ears. Some some of the breeds don't have this problem as much, but the Nubians, that's just part of, you know, of the Nubian breed. So as you can see, we trimmed around and we want to get right on top of, of his head. He's cold. Uh, so what I do is I just come around and sort of hold the ear and sort of can his head. And this is, we're gonna do this one for five seconds, the first, the first time, okay? So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. All right, you take it off. So as you can see, it creates a, a nice copper ring around the outside of the, of the horn. And, um, but you want to get this bud off. So, you know, I talked earlier about on, on the actual ferrule as you go in and, and you make it a little sharper. So you want to, again, go back on the same one and you're trying to flick that butt off. So you, you do it like that. All right, and that's what you want. Here's the little, I'm gonna, that's the little buzz right there. You want that guy off. If you don't get that off, there's a good chance you're gonna have a scur. So, you got it off and you want to you want to come in and cauterize that to keep it from bleeding so just put it on there for about one or two seconds and that just seals off any blood so now you know i was talking about earlier that on on bucks we have to do it a little differently on those that side will be done so on a buck the way the horn bud grows is it goes toward the front right in here and you can feel on this guy uh, he's already got just a little bit of a bud right there that, you know, we got the main part off, but there's a little bit right here. So basically you want to go from here back toward the nose at a little bit of an angle. I'm going to turn him here where you can see, but you can see the pattern after I do it. So basically the second burn on this side is the same amount of time and, and basically the same thing as you did on this guy. So here we go for the second one, and they need to overlap. So one, two, three, four, five. So you take it off, look at it. It's got a good copper ring again. So, and you see, 
it's sort of in line, it's sort of at an angle. You know, you it don't go straight ahead. The second one doesn't. It comes over here. And that's what we're doing is we're killing that horn growth. But again, we've got to get that little section off. So we've done the first bud. And we'll come in, hold his head down just a little bit. And you want to just get that little skin off. So we'll pop it off. Just like that. There's a little piece that you get off. And you want to cauterize that area so it don't bleed. So come back and just really quickly, one, two, and it's, it's cauterized. So he doesn't have trouble uh, bleeding like that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and do the other side. Same thing as we did on this one. Just grab his head. One, two, three, four, five. See, I'm sure this burns, but probably he's more pissed off because I'm holding his head. Uh, you know, and I know some people don't agree with this this button, but it's, it's one of those things that we find that it's, it's necessary to do. So we're going to pop this little butt off. him off right there. that's just a little piece but you got to get that off especially on the buck if you don't you're gonna have problems down the road he's gonna have scars he'll have a lifetime of issues with with this with his horn so all right so now same thing with the other side you know we're gonna come in here and we're gonna cut the next one at a little bit of an angle so and normally we would have been long done with this guy he'd already had his bottle he had been outside playing by now i'm just it takes a lot longer trying to, I guess, talk about this and explain as I go. So there's a little, there's a little bit of delay. All right, here we go. Right in front, a little bit of an angle. One, two, three, four, five. All right. You see, there's a little bit of a smoke that came up on that one, and the the main reason we didn't probably trim as close. On these front areas is what we should have. You can see there's a little bit of hair tuft right there. And it's burning that hair and it's sort of getting in my face. But. Yeah. All I'm doing is just sort of flicking to get that little piece out. There it went. All right. So we got all of it done. I'm just going to really quickly colorize it. This one again, because it's got a little bit of blood coming out of it. And that's just it. All right. And that is all for this guy. So be real careful. As you can see on this one, we've got tape on our cord. If that cord touches this burner, it burns the cord every time. So just lay it out. Come on, the man. All right. So every time that we've ever done this the kids come out and they're completely fine they usually want a bottle within a minute or two they're playing and you know they're good to go yeah tail's wagging so you know that's not much time on his head he's absolutely come here man don't get on this but i'm gonna show you up close right here this is the the pattern on top of his head and that's what we're looking for there and he will not have any problems with scourge down the road. And he should have, hopefully, a good uh, lifetime of, of reproducing and being a good buck, hopefully, down the road. So, that's all uh, that we're going to cover. Uh, we're going to cut right here, and I'm going to do the does one doling. But really, the only difference is that you don't do, on a doling, you don't do this forward uh, section. And uh, some people will put um, some type of medication on this. Uh, we found the best that we don't. That's just the way we do it. Uh, 
we never had any issues. You will have from time to time where they'll be roughhousing and playing and, and doing the things that baby goats do, and they will injure this ever so slightly, but it's just, it'll, it'll just a little bit of blood will come up, but they're fine. Uh, you don't have to put anything on it. Cauterizing it really seems to help, you know, as far as uh, sealing everything off, and this little man, he'll be, he'll be good to go. So, that's all for today. Thanks, guys.